Hello friends, welcome to Technique. This is Nirmal here and in this video we are going to do the detailed camera review of the new smartphone from Infinix, the flagship device, the Infinix 05. So Infinix launched the 05 a couple of days back and this device will go on sale on November 22nd in India on Flipkart. The device is priced 17 triple nine and uh, it comes with a dual camera setup. It has a, a 12 megapixel primary camera and a 13 megapixel telephoto lens and also a 16 megapixel selfie camera. So how good is the Infinix 05 in this price segment for 18K? It is uh, quite uh, uh, a premium mid-range uh, device that is being offered uh, with uh, the 05. So how good is the camera experience that we'll find out in this detailed review. So before going into the detailed aspects, let's quickly have a look at the camera specifications. So it comes up with a dual uh, camera as I said before, it has a 12 megapixel primary camera which is a regular wide angle camera and a 13 megapixel telephoto lens you can see here, uh, 12 megapixel wide and 13 megapixel telephoto lens, f-stop 2.0 and an LED flash uh, included in the rear panel. So that's the rear camera module and on the front panel we have a 16 megapixel camera again with an LED flash and uh, this can take a bokeh shots as well. So that was the camera specifications of the Infinix 05. Now let's have a look at the interface of this camera. So you can see that once you open the camera interface, you can see it's a quite a similar UI which you have seen on a lot of uh, Chinese OEMs. We have different modes, video recording, auto mode, portrait mode, and also professional mode where you can uh, do a bit of uh, tweaking uh, to uh, the settings, including white balance, exposure, ISO, etc. So those can be done. And there is a portrait mode which uses the secondary 13 megapixel camera uh, to take portrait images and the auto mode uh, has this uh, 2x optical zoom so if you press this mode uh, you get uh, the 2x optical zoom and uh, there is also up to 10x uh, digital zoom is also included and video recording is at 1080p resolution and uh, on the left side we have this additional modes included i mean uh, filters included hdr mode and if you go to the modes uh, we have uh, a couple of interesting modes uh, one is beauty mode panorama night mode watermark can be added so these are the options in the uh, different modes so now let's go straight uh, into uh, the selfie camera so this is a 16 megapixel shooter and uh, here you can see there are a couple of interesting modes as well and uh, uh, you can also see wide uh, selfies there time lapse uh, short as well video recording is also at 1080p resolution now let's have a look at the camera samples taken with this device. So here are the daylight captures which we have taken with the Infinix 05. So from the samples you could see that uh, while the color quality was pretty good, uh, it was pretty much uh, spot on with the color uh, reproduction in the daylight captures. Uh, the HDR was kind of uh, overexposed at times, but it is does a decent job altogether in terms of daylight performance. But what we didn't like about the Infinix 05 is the sharpness levels. The sharpness was not as good as what uh, the Mi A1 or the the Moto G5S Plus offers. So in that aspect uh, the Infinix uh, 05 is slightly behind those cameras in terms of the overall uh, clarity but the colors were pretty spot on and uh, they were not uh, oversaturated and does produce some decent results overall. Uh, but uh, we feel the sharpness levels could have been slightly better and also at times uh, we could see that uh, the focusing was not uh, pretty spot on. Uh, we had to manually focus it or tap to focus and the focusing was not pretty uh, quick as well. So those are the minor issues we felt uh, with the Infinix 05. So overall we feel that daylight captures were kind of uh, above average but not a class leading performer uh, and uh, it is slightly below the Mi A1 and the uh, Moto G5 S Plus in this price segment. And even uh, the Honor 9i did a slightly better job uh, in terms of the overall clarity. But it is not a uh, bad performer either, it does a decent job altogether. Now next up let's talk about uh, the portrait images taken with this device. So portrait images uh, uh, uses a secondary uh, camera and it does a really good job here and the uh, portrait images were pretty good. Again the colors were pretty spot on and it was actually able to recognize even the complex objects that's something really good. You could see this uh, image uh, where the image was uh, pretty complex in nature and uh, the edges are pretty smooth and it's not very accurate although but for pricing uh, this does a really good job with portrait photographs and uh, the background uh, blurring can be adjusted even after taking the images. So that's another important aspect with the portrait images. Now next up let's talk about the low light photography. So, so low light photos were not as good as uh, what we would have expected from a dual camera smartphone with uh, uh, low, very low uh, light conditions. It was pretty much noisy and shaky as well. But uh, with adequate lighting we could see that uh, it did a decent job altogether with uh, respect to the detailing and colors. 
but again noise was slightly higher than what we would have expected for a flagship device in this price category so it won't uh, disappoint but it is definitely not a class leading performer in terms of the low light performance and we would say uh, the Xiaomi Mi A1 does a better job in terms of the low light performance when compared to the Infinix Zero 5. So that was uh, the low light performance. Now let's talk about the video recording. So this is the video recording taken using the rear camera on the Infinix uh, Zero 5. It is uh, capable of recording at uh, Full HD. That's a maximum resolution supported 1080p resolution. And it does not have any sort of stabilization. So you can judge yourself how good the quality is. Uh, we are working right now and uh, also recording the voice uh, using uh, the microphone on this device. So you can actually see how good the recording is. Now next up let's talk about the selfie experience. So it comes with a 16 megapixel shooter so it is definitely focusing on the selfie experience as well and uh, these are some of the samples which you have taken with the selfie camera and in daylight conditions the selfies were really good, pretty good uh, color reproduction, the detailing is also really good and most of the people would definitely love the selfie experience. There is also beauty mode and normal mode where you can uh, 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 adjust the beauty mode and get really great selfies. So selfies uh, was uh, really good on this device and uh, probably better than the Xiaomi Mi A1 and the Moto G5 S Plus in our opinion. So that's the selfie camera performance of the Infinix Zero 5. Now the selfie, uh, there is also a bokeh mode in selfie. You can enable the bokeh mode and the bokeh mode was uh, using the software algorithm, not a secondary camera like the Honor 9i and here it was not very accurate. If the background uh, for the bokeh selfies is not very complex, then it does a decent job altogether. But uh, with complex background, uh, the selfies uh, with bokeh mode turned out to be not that great, especially the edges blurring out. So it is a hit and miss affair, but mostly with a primary, I mean a single camera, it did a decent job altogether in terms of the bokeh mode. So selfies, uh, you won't be disappointed. It will do a decent job with all the selfie experience. And it also comes with an LED flash, but low light selfies uh, did turn out to be a little noisy, but uh, the selfie flash does a decent job altogether in terms of uh, uh, the low light experience for selfies so this video has been recorded using the front facing camera on the infinix or zero five it's again a, a 16 megapixel shooter capable of recording at a 1080p resolution and uh, this we have taken it outdoor you can also uh, check out how good the quality of the video is and also uh, the audio uh, output uh, from the video recording so this is again a selfie focused smartphone uh, from uh, infinix and uh, uh, as you can see, uh, this is shot using the front facing camera on this device. So now summing up, how good is the camera on the Infinix Zero 5? So we'll uh, break it down into different aspects of so the rear camera, the dual uh, rear camera, uh, the 12 and 13 megapixel camera did a decent job in terms of the daylight capture. So we would say it's above average in the daylight captures, low light self, low light captures were pretty much average, not really that great, but with adequate artificial lighting, it did a decent job. Now uh, the video recording with the rear camera was also kind of average. Uh, there is no optical image civilization and uh, the portrait images is one area where this camera really excels and uh, does a really good job with the color reproduction and uh, uh, the bokeh effect in the portrait mode. Now the front camera, the 13 megapixel camera did a really good job with uh, respect to uh, the selfie experience. Uh, even the low light selfies with flash did a decent job altogether and uh, uh, also the bokeh mode did a decent job with uh, uh, background defocused. So summing up, the two highlights of the Infinix Zero 5 are uh, portrait in, uh, mode with a dual camera and uh, secondly, uh, the selfie experience. So these are two really good areas uh, for the Infinix Zero 5. Rest all, we would say it's kind of average or above average and not really up to the mark of uh, the Mi A1 and uh, the Moto G5 S Plus in this price segment. So that was the detailed uh, camera review of uh, the Infinix Zero 5. Hope you enjoyed watching this video. Do hit that like button and also hit the red subscribe button for more videos. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you in our next video. Have a great day.